the big muscles run the show. In any sport, the big muscles first. So you need to push onto the ground. You need to use your legs. Uh, the grip is the first one. The unit turn, the loading, the acceleration, the contact point, the follow through and the finish. I will break down the forehand for beginner, intermediate and advanced players. So I will have six stages or six focus points on the forehand, which will be the, the grip is the first one, the unit turn, the loading, the acceleration, the contact point, the follow through and the finish. So it's a lot of points to go through and for each point, I will demonstrate how it should look like and I will give you some tips on how to improve those certain areas. And the best way guys to support the channel, please subscribe and turn the notification button on. Uh, the best way to get the newest info, I uh, would really appreciate it. So the next point is the loading. So we had the grip, we had the preparation and the unit turn. So now we have to load. So in terms of the legs, the big muscles run the show. In any sport, the big muscles first. So you need to push onto the ground. You need to use your legs to get energy going into kinetic energy. You store the energy first and you load. It's very important that you know you load your legs. You bend them about 20%. So that's kind of a number, might have changed a little bit, but around that area. And that gives you the best storing energy for the muscles, for all the energy. So you load on around 20% and then you explode. Very important to know because if you load too much, you're not going to come out. I always have the analogy to a basketball player. If you want to dunk and you want to go down here and you want to get up, you're not going to get very high, right? So it's about, it's all about the 20% round and then how quickly you use the hip snap and explode out of the legs when you hit the shot to get the power, right? So the more able you are to release all the energy quickly from the hip, from the ground to the hip, and then in the kinetic chain, you're gonna hit a faster shot. So speaking about the loading, so we split, we turn, we set the foot, we have a good weight on the back leg here. So now what happens is if you explode from the back leg, the racket drops into the leg position. So that's one thing that's gonna happen. You're out here and you're gonna explode and it drops here. So some, that phase looks different according to the players. Different players, different, looks a little bit different, but they all have one thing in common. When they're here, they kind of go, uh, you have to go below the ball, right? So some players like the Potro get the racket a little bit further back here. Fed when he's here, goes straight down here. And then we come to the acceleration phase, which is the next step in the video. And that's the next video I'm gonna shoot for you guys.